On either side, 30 steel cages for the defendants. Metal detectors, electronic monitors, alarms, television cameras at every door. The exterior will support 3,000 armed soldiers to protect the prosecution and its witnesses. The indictment, the culmination of Judges Falcone and Borsellino's years of effort, is dedicated to the late Rocco Chinici, who first began this work more than three years ago. Today in Palermo, history is being made as the anti-mafia pool begins its combined prosecution of over 400 accused Cosa Nostra members. One notable absentee is Salvatore Toto Reina, believed to be the current head of the Sicilian Mafia. Reina's whereabouts are unknown, though he is suspected of still being in Palermo. Silence in court! known as Cosa Nostra, which, with violence and intimidation, has sown and continues to sow death and terror. Lines began forming last night as people waited to see the first appearance of the star witness of this trial, Tommaso Buscetta. Buscetta's confessions are pivotal to the case, though many people believe that the ex-mafiosi would never dare to actually testify at the trial. I ask that Tommaso Buscetta take the witness stand. your name. Tomas Boucher. That's Michele Greco. He's ordered over 70 murders, including that of Rocco Chinici. I demand silence. They call him the Pope. Do you recognize this man? Mm. Luciano Ligio. He likes to kill. One wrong word, you can smell death in the air. What do you know about his relationship with the union leader, Placido Rizzotto? He killed him. He shot him, stabbed him, threw him in the ditch. There was a boy, uh, a shepherd, who saw it. Ligio forced the boy to stab Rizzotto to make him part of the crime, to keep him quiet. The boy later killed himself. Silence in court! Number 35. Pippo Cano. I know something he doesn't. I know where his son is hidden. But I didn't kill his son. Because he didn't do anything to me. As for Pippo Cano himself. If someone gave me a gun right now, I would kill him here in front of everyone. My two sons did nothing to him. But he killed them. Because their name was Buscetta. Why didn't you kill me? Don't worry. <laughs> Silence! 
<laughs> Silence in court. You laugh because you are afraid. The game is over, people. It's over. You are over. We will never end. Silence. Even though these gentlemen may not have killed anyone with their own hands, you have decided they are cold-blooded killers. They ordered the killing. <laughs> if I order someone to tell a lie, does that make me a liar? If you build a bad car that kills the owner, who do you charge? The assembly line worker or the owner of the company? No murder is committed without the command of a boss. It's Cosa Nostra law. And you have broken that very law by turning against your brothers. Our fate to make that pronouncement. This man is a master criminal whose only motivation here is to cleanse his own dirty soul. And who is going to save your soul? This is outrageous! Silence, sir, I the vote. Silence! I demand silence. No, 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 no. Judge Falcone, how do you feel today? Judge Falcone, Judge Falcone, do you think the verdict will go your way? What will it mean for the country, Judge Falcone? Judge Falcone, are you capable? You can win! Judge Falcone, can I ask a question, please? The court. In the name of the Italian people, the criminal court of Palermo declares Toto Rina guilty of the crimes of murder, extortion, and kidnapping, and condemns him in absentia to life imprisonment. The court declares Michele Greco Guilty of the crimes of murder. Silence. Silence. Guilty of the crimes of murder and extortion, and condemns him to life imprisonment. Silence. Silence. The court declares. Pippo Calò, guilty of murder and assault, <laughs> and also of the manufacture and distribution of heroin, and for these crimes, condemns him to life in prison. <laughs> Judge Corrado Carnavale lived up to his record of overturning the convictions of mafiosi on the smallest of legal technicalities by setting free Michele Greco, the mafia boss convicted in the death of Judge Rocco Kenichi. This brings to 37 the number of mafiosi Carnavale has set free out of the 344 found guilty at the Palermo Maxi trial. Whether any of the sentences handed down at the trial will stand seems increasingly in doubt. <laughs>